today we've got another war and order video this video is on the pet carnival now a quick rundown of this event you have a couple days to gather leashes to catch ponies around the world and those range from common rare elite and legendary ponies legendary being the orange ones and uh throughout that event you can also gather food do quests to get food and other rewards and these food this food is used to feed these ponies and level them up well um in every event past i've put in maybe five ten pounds to try and get some decent ponies and i've never um really got into it that much but i was convinced by an alliance member that really loves this event vixen to really uh, go in with at least one of the events and see if i can get a really good pony so this one i went full in i got multiple orange ponies obviously i had to release the others because you can only use one and um i got to have my goal playing this mini game that you see right here with my first orange pony ever um now i gathered enough food to get my pony up to level 40 in the event and basically w what happens is you get that uh, to level 40 it ups the stats that's the distance it can run and the speed that it can run um, and ba basically all to increase the distance that you can go and the more distance you get is the more points that you get essentially and it's all for this mini game that you're seeing right here now. I've skipped the tutorial because um, I'm sure you don't want to watch that. Uh, but uh, basics are it's it's a running game. You have to dodge objects, you have to get power ups, and you have to collect the resources along the way if you want to. Um, I am pretty not good at this, and combined with the lag um, that I get when I'm recording on my phone. I made quite a few mess ups. There was one run which was nearly perfect, um, but in total you get four runs at this, um, not including the tutorial. Um, but the one after the tutorial, after the tutorial, you go into a real run, and that's the end of my first run. I get a hundred and nearly a hundred and sixty thousand. Um, and yeah, that that's basically it. So you have to dodge objects you have to collect the power-ups there's two kind of power-ups you just saw them both there's one to collect all the resources around you so you don't have to worry about what um, lane that you're on and then there's one that will block damage if you accidentally crash into something um, I'm not sure if that's 100% damage of the blocks or if it's um, just partly but yeah um, they are fairly easy to pick up along the way this was a particularly hard map I found I found in previous events that the uh, the map that you run was pretty easy, so I was surprised at how hard this one is. Now it is still uh, it's a it's a game that's appropriate for kids. It's not that hard, um, but you saw um, multiple times now the ability has been behind like a double jump or something. Now I didn't really uh, right there double jump into falling down, and then you have to quickly go to off to the side. Um, that hasn't been in any of the past events. I think there's been three pony events in the past. This is the one that I really messed up. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, basically the whole point of this event, um, you get a lot of rewards, and you'll see that towards the end. I got, uh, I could pretty much buy everything in the store um, because an orange, that's a 10 out of 10 orange pony that's level 40. That's basically, that's the best you can get, essentially. It, you probably could get 41 I think I was pretty close to getting 41 um, but level 40 that's that's one of the best that you can get and I got enough to get pretty much everything in the shop I got obviously everything I wanted even if you don't spend for this event you should be able to get most of the things you wanted maybe not the orange fragments because those are the most expensive but everything else that you want, you can pretty much get them all if you just have a decent pony. If you, you should, as a free-to-play player, I think you should be able to catch a purple. You'd have to be a... You, it, it might not be the best purple, but um, you'd have to be unlucky to not get any purple at all. Um, that was a pretty good dodge there. Normally, uh, I found that it's better to not go for that uh, power-up that was right there. Um, because it's very hard to dodge the next um, obstacle, but I did it. 
Um, but yeah, the, the lag when recording um, this event in particular for some reason is really bad. Um, so I didn't do that well. I didn't do as well as I wanted to do. But I think, well no, I know that I was definitely the best in my realm and one of the best overall. Now the thing about this event is it's a team event. So you have to make sure that you team up with people that um, are around your skill level um, as or spending level, I guess. Like if you don't want to be in a team with someone that doesn't care about the event is what I'm saying. You want to be in a team that's with someone that, uh, well, with three other people that definitely are going to take part, at least try and get a purple. Um, yeah, that was the best run right there, just over 160,000. You want them to at least get a purple and you want them to make sure that they're feeding. Now a big mistake I see a lot of people doing is they start feeding their pony right from the start. You do not need to do that. You can wait until the very last day, which is the day that you have to do the runs, to uh, feed your pony. Now why would you do that? It's because you want to keep getting these lassos, these uh, leashes, to catch more ponies because you might get a better pony than you've already got. Now for me, I got a 10 out of 10 so I knew I could level up. Um, early because you can't get better than a 10 out of 10 um, or 10-10 uh, for speed and distance or durability it might be the other way um, so I, I could feed my pony but I saw people that had a rare that's a blue and they were feeding their ponies do not do that um, you don't want to be wasting that food um, there's only so much food that you'll be able to give out for the event um, like I said I maxed out at about 40 I probably could have got 41 if I tried a little bit harder um, and yeah, make sure you do the daily quests as well to get those. But yeah, overall, um, I think I like the event. It's it's a good free to play event, I would say. Obviously, I spent um, so I could show you what it looks like to have the best and what you might get from it. Uh, I'll let I'll leave it up to you to decide if it's worth it. I I'm not sure if it was worth it spending as much as I did to get um, Perfect Pony, but I mean I had fun doing it, that was the worst run. <laughs> um, I had fun doing it and I would probably do it again, not the next Pony event, I think it happens once a month, I'm not going to do it for the next Pony event, um, but the one after that I'll probably try and get another orange, uh, I mean I'll always try and get an orange, I'll spend it like a minimum amount to try and get that orange but it's not something I'll go hard at because it actually requires a lot of work <laughs> to, to do these and you have to be actually good at them and I'm not good at this <laughs> as you can clearly see with how much I'm getting. Now I do want to say this is the hardest map that I've ever had to do for ponies but yeah you, you can clearly see I'm not the best at it. Um, a really nice dodge there. But yeah that that's pretty much all I wanted to show you with this. Um, that, like I said, that the main reason to do this event isn't actually for the resources. It isn't for the rewards for doing the pony. For me personally, the reason to do this is to get this beast skin fragments. And these fragments, once you've got enough of them, can unlock a beast skin, and then after that, even less of those fragments to level up that beast skin. And with this event, um, in previous events, I got about. 20 beast fragments overall, maybe 30, between 20 and 30. Um, with this event, combined with what I get from this rewards and uh, from the daily rewards, um, I was able to unlock my blue phoenix, which is really good for me with my build, and I was able to level it up not once but twice with all the fragments that I got from this. And you see there we ranked 10. We still have one person that's still to do it. I think he's the one with the legendary. You can see my previous times. And I think I did pretty good. Let's have a look at the shop. And yeah, you, you can pretty much see that I've got up to so much points, I, I'm going to buy pretty much everything here. Um, now, there's some stuff that I just feel isn't worth buying, so I ended up going for resources like the speed ups. Like, I've got way more than enough speed ups. Um, and the artifact fragment chests. I don't like the purple ones, um, so I don't buy those at all. I only go for um, orange. Um, but if you're a free-to-play player, you probably want to go and invest in those purple fragments instead of the orange ones. You probably want to pick up the orange ones passively instead. But yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.